What if one tool could manage trades, recover losses, and even build strategies all automatically inside MetaTrader? This is the Manager. This video will show you how to customize your charts to look like this, how easy it is to enter advanced trade setups, and how to manage your portfolio and your custom strategies with the Manager. Besides learning how to use one of the most user-friendly utilities for MetaTrader, if you watch this video until the end, I will tell you a secret about how you can use it for over a month for completely free. Now enough talking, let's jump right into it. The Manager has four main modes, one for advanced manual trading and three others for different types of strategies. First, I will show you the trade mode. This mode has four sub-modes. Trade for entering trades, Manager for closing trades and protecting your capital, Modify for changing existing orders or positions, and Info for getting information about the symbol, your account, or your trades. When I was making this video, I thought it would be interesting to compare the trade mode of the manager to the most popular trading tool for MetaTrader, the Trade Assistant. So I went ahead and purchased it to find the pros and cons of both utilities. Throughout the video, I will tell you which one is better depending on your trading style. In the trade mode, you have many options for entering a trade. You can select the direction of the trade and with this button, display it on your chart. You can explicitly set the parameters of your trade in these text boxes. A cool feature is that whenever you leave a field blank, it will automatically fill it with a sensible default value. For position sizing, you can choose to enter either the lot size or the amount of money you would like to risk or gain. If you use volume, you can set the margin used for the trade or the lot size directly. If you use risk, you can enter either the monetary amount or a percentage of the balance. Then you can set both the stop loss and the take profit, either in levels, in points, or as a percentage of the enterprise. Setting an expiry for the trade means that it will be closed at the given time based on your local time. If it's pending order, it will be deleted at that time, but if the order is executed, the expiry will be removed automatically to ensure safety. You can later set an expiry again for that trade in the modify section. You can lock the current risk-reward ratio with this button and set a trading stop loss with this toggle. For more advanced traders, there is an option to set partial closes and automatic break-even using this button. These options will only be applied if this panel is active. You can add partials using these radio buttons and the active level will also appear on your chart. You can set the break-even using this text box and this button and once you're ready, just hit the big button at the bottom to send the order. It's that simple. The Trade Assistant can do most of these things as well, but in a way that feels a bit confusing to me. Setting partials and trailing stops isn't done in the trade itself, but in other modes. For example, if I wanted to enter a trade with partials, a trailing stop and an automatic break-even, I had to go through four different layouts instead of just one. Setting up the trade is also less intuitive. For lot calculation, I can only set the risk, and if I want to specify it in my base currency, instead of as a percentage of my balance, I have to open the settings and change the calculation method there. For me, the Manhanger is much easier to use and far more intuitive with fewer complications, making it a better choice for beginner traders. Now that you know how to open trades, let's see how to manage them. In the Manager mode, you can close trades and delete any type of pending order using various filters. You can choose which types of order to close, open trades, pending orders, or specific kinds such as only buys or buys and sell stops. And after setting your trade pool, you can define the conditions for closing. For example, you can close trades with a profit above $1 or a loss below $20. These filters work together in an end connection, meaning that all conditions must be met. For instance, if you choose to close losing trades on Euro US dollar with the comment swing trade, only those will be affected. Once everything is set, hit the close button and the EA will do its job. Below this button are two useful features for limiting drawdowns or locking profits. Cut loss automatically closes all trades if your floating loss exceeds a set limit, either in money or as a percentage of your balance, and the cut gain does the same thing for floating profits. After managing your positions, sometimes you will want to modify or to analyze them. That's where modify and info come in. In the modify mode, you can select a trade and can adjust the same parameters as in the trade mode. In the info mode, you can view useful data about a selected trade, such as floating profit, break-even point, expectancy, and the probability of winning. You can also check symbol information, such as regime score, a statistical measure of the current trend, and your account statistics like win rate, returns, and profit factor. 
The trade assistant has a mode somewhat similar to the manager mode, but you can't apply your own logic. For example, you can't close only profitable trades with a specific comment. It also lacks a dedicated modify mode. You can modify trades using the small buttons that appear on the chart, but once you have many trades, the chart becomes very messy. To be transparent, even though some features are missing from this trade major, it still has far more options than the manager's trade mode, such as alerts, time management, and advanced trading stops. So if you're an advanced trader who only trades manually and prefers full control, that tool might suit you better for now. However, if you're a beginner or an advanced trader who wants a clean, modern interface and the ability to build semi-automatic strategies, the manager is the right choice. Another thing I love about it is that it makes your chart look smooth and supports three different themes, dark, standard light, and line blue theme. If you set this input parameter to true, it will automatically set the theme of your chart as well. Speaking of semi-automatic strategies, let me show you my favorite one, the grid strategy. It works extremely well in ranging markets. The main idea is to average into your position if the price goes against you. This is done by entering several trades at defined price intervals, often with a slightly increasing lot size. Instead of relying on a single entry, you can still make a profit even if your initial entry is wrong, as long as the price makes a pullback. Here's an example. I noticed that many traders were short on this pair and already are in profit. I wasn't sure if I could catch the turning point, so I ran a grid strategy instead and it turned out to be profitable. Inside grid mode, you can select the direction, long, short, or long slash short. If you choose long slash short, the price movement will decide. If the price goes up and hits the first sell limit, only sell trades will be placed. If it goes down, buy limits will open. You can set the starting price of the strategy. When the price reaches it, the strategy starts and places orders. The total range and number of trades define the spacing between orders. I usually set 4 to 7 trades with the range defined by the previous support or resistance levels. Next, set the volume the strategy can use. I recommend using lots instead of margin because it gives a clearer picture of your maximum exposure. If you prefer to define the first trade size instead of the whole strategy's volume, select start instead of cap, though I prefer setting the cap. After defining the volume, set the risk and gain of the strategy. You can leave the risk field blank and press enter. It will automatically calculate a risk one order distance above or below the range. For the gain, I usually set it to about 1 20th of my risk, though some traders go even lower. Remember, this is a high win rate, low risk reward strategy. You will likely win often, but losses are larger when they happen. Then set the volume step, which controls how the lot size increases between the trades. If you want larger trades as the price moves against you, enter a value above 1, but I usually keep it below 1.2. Recalculate the risk, then press Run Strategy to start. In the top right corner, there is a drop down box with three restart options. Stop at close runs the strategy once and stops after profit is hit. Keep trading restarts using the next market price and status quo restarts from the same start price. You can view active parameters anytime by reselecting the grid mode. You can also change risk or gain while it's running. The next strategy is also fun to use, the zone recovery strategy. This Mortinger style strategy works well in trending markets. The idea is to place recovery trades at different levels. If the price moves against you, it opens a trade in the opposite direction with a larger lot size aiming to recover losses. It buys at the buy level, sells at the sell level, and takes profit at the range. Lot sizes are calculated automatically by the EA based on your desired gain, which will be achieved at the end of the range. The volume cap defines the maximum total volume of the trades. After setting the gain, the EA can also calculate the risk automatically, similar to the grid mode. Let me give you a quick example. Suppose the strategy will open three trades. If the price moves up, it opens a buy aiming for $10 profit. If it then drops, it opens a larger sell trade, also targeting $10 total profit. If the price rises again, it opens another buy and so on. If the price fails to reach the range and instead hits the next sell level, that's where the strategy reaches its maximum risk. You can see how many trades the strategy may open in the top left corner of the layout. Each parameter affects this number. Click Run a Strategy and it starts immediately. You can adjust the risk while it's running and set the stop mode just like in the grid mode. To better understand the manager and its strategies, I've prepared a manual linked in the description. At the end of that manual, you will find two free demo files, one for MT5 and one for MT4. Download them, 
copy them into your terminals folder and test everything for yourself. There is no risk in seeing how useful this utility can be. If you want an extended demo after the trial ends, just send me a message on MQL5. If you've watched this far, you are clearly serious about trading. So here is something special for you. In the future, I will hold giveaways where you can win a free copy of my MetaTrader software, including the MetHedger. The only way to get notified about these is to subscribe to my channel. The last strategy I will cover is the hedge strategy. The idea is to open trades in both directions with equal size. When the take profit level is hit, it closes the profitable trade and a part of the losing one, locking in a smaller profit. This process is called trimming the hedge. Then the system places another stop order to balance the remaining position. This order trails the price, working like a dynamic stop. If it's triggered, the same trimming process repeats. If the buy and sell levels are too far apart, you can build from the inside, adding new stop orders between them that work the same way. You can also set how much profit you want to make per lot. This value is used because the traded volume changes throughout the strategy's lifetime. You can also set a total profit target, and the strategy will stop after reaching it. Clicking the settings button opens up a panel on the right side where you can add or remove trades from the hedging batch to recover losing trades. You can also adjust the squeezing distance, which controls how closely the trailing order follows the price. Finally, you can print all managed orders and tickets in the Experts tab to monitor everything. That's the Manhedger, a complete trading environment inside MetaTrader. It makes your charts clean and your trading structured, not stressful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to download the free version, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to participate in future giveaways. Let me know in the comments what feature you would like to see next. I'm always improving the Manhedger and if you purchase it, you will get all the updates that come with it. See you in the next one. Peace.